Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day seven on this frozen rock of a planet. Uh, so we completed our recovery rig and we managed to bring in uh, a battery and I also brought in one of the unknown signals, the drop pods, and uh, uh, I need to grind it down and, and get the battery out of it. But today, I want to head out and head west. The old saying goes, head west, young man. And so, I want to see if we can find some more minerals or ores. Uh, we're pretty, you know, we're, we're not getting a whole hell of a lot. I would really love to get cobalt. Uh, one thing I wanted to look at is this thing needs 10 metal grids and we just we've got a little tiny bit of cobalt from one of the rockets that I grounded off of here well actually we've got uh, let me go look we've got uh, we do have two metal grids and I'm not sure what, let's see what it takes to make a metal grid. Oh, uh, let's see, uh, actually, you know what, I need to go over here. And let's get into the fabricator, because I think that that's where it is made at. Fabricator, metal grids, so it takes three three uh, to create a metal grid three things of cobalt we can get the nickel and the iron from the stone that's not a problem we have plenty of that but we really need to get cobalt because that's really kind of holding all the production up so I want to take off and let's see what we can find I better check my food first. Uh, let's see, how am I doing? Uh, I guess I better get some water and food. Although we'll be bringing this with us. We're going to take take this out because it's got a little more power. So let's go ahead and drop in the organics. Uh, the gray wastewater. Uh, oh, we can get rid of that fertilizer. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's hop over to the production. One, two, three. One more, four. Get that cleaned up. And let's see. What do I have in inventory? I do have some ice in there. Uh, let's see if we've got enough to make... Let's go ahead and put this up there. That's 12. We'll, uh, let's uh, grab five of that. Synthetic food. Now let's see if we can uh, get some O2 going. Let's get... Uh, four of those going. Let's see, that should be enough. And then we can get some more synthetic. Uh, since we took five, let's uh, make seven. And hopefully that is enough, and I think it is. Yeah, and then we can grab, grab this water here. There we go. All right. We should be good to be able to take off. Let's disconnect. Uh, there we go. Removed. All right. We're going to head west. Let's see what we can find. And we should be able to get going this way. Now, I've covered part of this area out here, but not enough. And let me make sure my metal detector is on. Two, it's wheels. Uh, 
Let's, uh, uh, control panel, metal, wheel, ore detector. Okay, we got that, and that is on. All right. So, yep, we, I can see ice. So, let's go ahead and start heading out while we have some sunshine. And I will be back with you if I find something interesting. Well, I found something on the radar. I found gold. I'm not sure if that's a rock or if it is a field. I think it's a rock. Yep. Well, we don't really need gold right at the moment. But we will mark that when we do. So let's just get right here. We'll stop. As you can see, the sun's going down on me. I guess uh, the last day we kind of worked a little bit longer into the day. So let me get this GPS marked. And uh, actually, let's do this while I'm thinking about it. Okay, GPS. New for current. Go our gold rock. All right, and we don't need it to show in the HUD right now. All right, well, that's that. We found something, but not what I really wanted. All right, I'm going to go a little farther. I'll let you know if something pops up. As you can see, I'm just about back at base, so why found nothing uh, other than that gold rock. So I made a pretty good sweep. Let's get in here so that we can get the battery connected up. Turn around here. Parking this thing. All right, park it. Pop out. And let's get this hooked back up. There we go. All right. Well, ah, uh, so much for that. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see what we need to do then. It looks like what we want to do is I need to start mining some stone. And I want to try to get the cement factory built. So let's take a look and see what... Uh, where are we at here? There we go. Let's see what the cement factory is going to take. Because I want to build most of my base or most of my uh, uh, floor level out of cement blocks. Because we'll have plenty of gravel for that. So where is that? Let's see. Ceramics. Chemical. Uh, where are you? Cement kiln. So that's not going to take too much. It's going to take some steel plates. Uh, so let's, uh, let's pull that down. We'll put that right there. As you can see, it's a rather large item. And I think what I'm going to do is probably put it somewhere out here. So let me kind of get, I can start getting girders built and uh, getting this down. So once I kind of get a base set out out here, I'll uh, uh, get back with you and show you what I've got done on it. Okay, I've kind of got the framework down on here for the uh, cement factory. I'm going to have to start getting some stone, but one of the things I wanted to point out is one of the reasons I want to use cement blocks 
is because I can use girders. So it's a little less expensive uh, to make and I can produce girders uh, with the extruder. So if we hop into here, uh, we can see in our inventory, well, no, uh, you can see that I've been producing them. Uh, so if you go to production, we can do girders, large tubes and small tubes, which is great. I don't have to have the plate factory set up yet and I don't have to produce them over in the assembler's bench. So that uh, really helps out a lot in the production. Uh, but I do, I am going to need a lot of steel plates for that cement factory. Uh, so I need to get busy and mine some stone and once I get this built then I'm going to start working on a drilling rig of some sort so that I can uh, go drill the stone and not have to hand drill it all the time. But at this point, I still have to do some hand drilling. So let me go get a bunch of that uh, uh, stone over here and I will uh, get back with you once I get to that point. Okay, I think I'm about ready to finish this cement kiln. Uh, I've got everything in there. The only thing I don't have is the 20 steel plates for the additional functionality on it. But I've got enough built that everything else is there. So let's go ahead and finish this up. And the nice thing about this, then we'll be able to really kind of use that gravel. There we go. And we have a cement kiln. So... We should have a port down on this end, and then you saw the port on this end. I don't think, and then I think there's one more port over here, yeah, it has three ports. So once we actually get this thing all hooked up and set, then we would be able to kind of port that in and it'll be able to pull the gravel there so I'm gonna grab some gravel here and let's see let's see how my power holds up so we can grab a bunch of this oh, and I can actually let's do this uh, put uh, all right Butsy come on co-pilot you got to stay out of the way now come on come on Get out of the way. Come on, get out of the way. Come on. Yeah. Go figure, right? Uh, where am I at now? I want to um, put, where's my fabricator? Fabricator. I want to put these back away and put these over here. There we go. Now let's take our gravel down here. And the other thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start chasing down those uh, unknown drop pods. So let's let's get some cement going. All right, it seems to be functioning power-wise. Let's uh, see what it requires. Well, we seem to have enough power at this point. Probably sucking my probably sucking my battery dry, but we won't be using it that much. All right, that is yeah, that's a little far away. I'd love to go get it. Let's wait for something a little bit closer on the unknown signal. And we can start grabbing some of these blocks. And I can kind of show you anyway what the idea is here. Uh, inventory, I need to let's just grab these. And we can grab what we've got for our first set of blocks. Come 
Come on, Betsy, look out. Come on. Up down. There we go. Okay, a spoiled little brat. Alright. Let's hold up a couple of these so you can kind of see what uh, what what this is going to do for the base. But this gives us an opportunity to, to use this gravel. And there's other stuff that we'll be able to use it for as well. But that uh, really saves on our steel blocks. You know, uh, we're not going to be wasting all that iron on the steel blocks. And we can get this, uh, uh, get the base now. Now, I'll probably put in like cement pillars and then we'll use some, uh, uh, who knows what kind of blocks I'll put for walls. But a lot of this stuff is going to be out in the open, like this cement kiln. That won't be set up inside. That's going to be an outdoors type thing. And a lot of stuff that's in this industrial mod is really kind of designed to, to be more out in the open. So it's just a matter of getting it laid out. All right, so next steps is to finish. I think what I want to do next step is uh, start kind of deciding where I want to put my power grid because I don't want those windmills to be right there. I'm going to want them kind of on a separate power grid and that will I think be up here and that's where I'm going to be using those like what I've got the one pod hooked up to the survival pod I've got that hooked up into here well that's where those tethers are going to come in and I will have power running from my power grid station over to the main plant here so I think what I want to do here is get the start kind of laying out where I want the power grid and I think what I'm going to do is put it up on this hill right here and let's uh, let me kind of just start marking things out here so If we put this right here, I think we can then start building hydrogen engines for up here. We have that technology. And then that will help ease our power and we won't be so dependent on the survival pod and the windmills so let's see all right now let's uh, two three let's uh, uh, power blocks I will have a set of windmills set up over here, but I'm going to want the hydrogen engine. Again, that's steel plates. Yeah, I can build all of this. And then the other nice thing about this, this will run off of ice or hydrogen. So let's, that's gasoline engine. We are not into that yet. And you'll notice I'm not even considering solar. That is really, I could build those, but I don't really have the ability to control the panels and I don't just want to stick them up. I think hydrogen is going to be our better better choice. So we're going to want a hydrogen engine uh, and I'm going to want a small hydrogen tank. Let's see. 
a small hydrogen tank and an O2 generator. O2 H2 right here. And we're going to probably end up putting two of these up here. Uh, oh, you know what? I need to go down and grab some steel plates, though. Because I think all of these require steel plates. Alright. Let's get into here. Let's see if I've got any. Uh, I need to make a few. Let's do this. Production. Get about 10 of them going. That way I can just kind of get the wireframe laid out. Uh, I'll actually s uh, weld up the base out there. And that way I don't like leaving things undone underneath. It's just something about it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, that should be enough for what I need right now. Uh, let's grab some more concrete blocks here. How much do we got? Oh, I guess I need to make a few more. Let's get these. Actually, let's go to the control panel. And we could set this so that we always have at least a hundred of them for now. And let's set that. Ah, uh, perfect. Alright, so that's Grab those and we'll get back up here on the hill. Okay, um, let's see. Let's uh, kind of start welding this up. Yeah, of course I'm going to need more cement blocks. All right, once I get the base, once I get this base welded up, I will uh, catch back up with you and we can uh, uh, kind of lay out the starting of our power grid. All right, I think I'm about ready to start laying this out and I'm just I'm a little conflicted on this but I think this is what I want to do let's start with the hydrogen engine three that goes I think uh, that'll go there actually let me change that color uh, let's go with a blue yeah that looks good so, we'll start with a hydrogen engine. Put that right there. Then, uh, let's change this to, say, a... Let's do a dark green for our hydrogen tank and O2 generator. Let's see. So, okay, let's get out of there. All right, let's go four, which has to be, so the ports are on the ends. So we can't just stand them upright. So I think what I want to do is something like this. We'll put this, ah, dang it, come on. Put that down like that. That connects into there. Now, we can put our O2 generator, which actually has ports on both ends and the bottom and the top. Now, if I was to lay this down like that. Uh, 
I would still have ports on the side and on the end to pipe if I wanted to for a second set. Uh, I'm not sure I like that, but actually I think I think I'm gonna do that. Because I don't need to pipe anything into the engine or the tank at this point. And I may put another, well, I will eventually put another set of engines in here. So let's go ahead and plop that down. And then the other thing I want to do, now I think, uh, let me do this. I, uh, I won't be able to build it now, but I want to put, where is it? A small cargo because it requires aluminum and we haven't found any aluminum but that's okay I can at least have it framed here and so that would go right there like that and that could be kind of a storage compartment so I'll still be able to oh, I need oh I need a little I can't even play I can't even place it so eventually this is where I'm going to put this uh, all right. So I can make everything for this. I should have looked at that, but yeah, I thought that was the case. I can make everything for this. I can make everything for this. And I can make everything for this. So this will allow us to get more power to the base as we want to continually expand. All right, uh, well, let me start working on the parts for this. Uh, the other thing that I will do is put uh, transformers in that'll run power down to the base. And then ultimately what I'm going to do is expand this out and then we'll put our windmills up here instead of down there on the main base. So let me get this going here. Uh, let's see how much. I'm going to need a lot of steel plates. There's 80. Uh, 60. That's 120. And another 80. That's uh, 200, 200 plates. So I better get them going. And that's just going to be slow going with that assembly bench. I should check to see. Let me take a look at something here. Ah, uh, gee. Uh, production blocks. Assembler plate. Uh, our plate ceramics. Plate stamp, plate stamp, where are you? Uh, plate stamp. I could build that plate stamp. I think what I will do is, although I've got steel in it, I'll get uh, most of that back as scrap, but I can throw that in. I think what I want to do is, is take that assembly, that assembler out, and then we'll eventually get to that and then throw that plate stamp in. It takes a lot of steel, but then pretty much be able to build everything right here and then that plate stamp will I think fit right here let's just see how big it is let me pull it down right there let's drop you into here and that is what looks like to be Uh, two by three and so I think I got uh, two three yeah I think I'll take uh, let me go ahead and take this out I know it seems like a waste but we'll be able to put that steel scrap back in uh, we're not going to be able to do anything with it until we can find cobalt 
or a source of cobalt one way or the other. And so let's uh, let's do this. building these out. I'll be able to replace those underneath each of those too once we get to that. But let me... So let me go ahead and build out this while we get the plates going for this plate stamp. Uh, and that was 150 steel. Alright, we can do that. Let's get that going. All right, I will get get the plate stamp up and going, uh, and then that way we don't have to worry about trying to use this assembler for all of our steel plates because it's just going to take forever. And then once I get this filled out and I get the plate stamp down and ready to, to build, I will uh, uh, get back with you. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm working away. I kind of got things laid out here, but I got a drop pod that has dropped only 444.4 meters away. So let's go hit that drop pod up and see if we can't get us another battery and kind of go from there. So our pistons are all off. All right, let's... And then we just need to three, four, five, turn those all on. And let's uh, get this thing turned around here. And we will start heading, heading out after that uh, drop pod, which is just right over here. Yeah, obviously since uh, resources are rather scarce, we need to take advantage of these kinds of things. Let's kind of get over here, get lined up with it, because I think something like this. Oh, you know what? This, all right. Well, this will help. We are going to actually, we're not going to get the battery out of this one. We are going to take the uh, medium cargo bay. Let's grab everything out of here. Oh, look at all that steel. We certainly could use that aluminum. Da. Ah, this was a nice one. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we're going to get anything. Badger gloves. All right. All right, let's grind this down. Actually, let's push this over. There we go. That'll make it a little bit easier grinding. We're not quite ready to use this medium cargo bay, but... It, yeah, we want to take that battery off this time. Since I can't separate it out... Because we've got everything goes to scrap, so <coughs> and then this is going to be part of our new cargo hauler. I want to try to get three of these, so we will back this thing up 
to it. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. This is what I want. Alright. Let's get out of here and... Uh, let's turn that off. We just need to be able to... Get lined up with it somewhat. Doesn't have to be perfect this time around. Alright, let's keep... I think that looks pretty good. Let's swing around here. Okay, keep coming back. That should, because we can extend that out. Let's just, just a touch more. All right, that should be good. Okay, let's uh, turn these pistons on. Actually, I should have done that up here. I got them all in a group. go pistons on uh, let's go over just a touch uh, that would be piston number one let's maximum of say point Three. First that. Yeah, that's good. All right. And piston number three needs to come out a little bit. Piston number three. And so let's give that a maximum distance of say point oh point six, I think. that. That's good. Perfect. All right. And piston number one needs to come down just a little bit. And let's check our... Oop. What did I do? Let's... All right. Let's... There we go. Our magnetic... Where are we at here? Recovery. Magnetic auto lock on. Alright, let's go to our pistons. Piston number four. Let's bring it down. Let's just uh, reverse that, see if that's got it. Uh, that should do it. Now let's reverse that again. Nice. That barely gets it off the ground. But... That's enough. Uh, let's head back to base with it. All right, let's turn the pistons off. And let's uh, come out here so we can see what the, what's going on. All right, control one, there we go. Let's head back to base. And we have our medium, first medium cargo. I need two more of these. And we can just drop these off. And then we can start collecting our batteries. That'll be the main thing. Once I get the batteries and these three cargo bays, we can build our cargo ship, basically. So we already got two batteries. I, I want to get, like, eight batteries. Alright. Slow this thing down. We'll just pull in right here. And stop that. Let's, uh... Do this. Uh, I 
didn't add my I did not let me do this uh, let's bring this down let's uh, auto lock on and off and let's bring it down again and Unlock. All right. So let's uh, oh, get the right. There we go. All right. So let's turn that off and then let's unlock it and there we go. All right. And then we can turn this thing off. Uh, let's control one. Let's go three, four, and five. There we go. All right. Well, that's accomplished something. I was happy, happy to get that. So obviously we didn't lose this this time, and we didn't lose that battery. So I think we got the trash removal. So now that gives us uh, the start of our first. Oh, really? Yeah, we got two batteries. So I'm not sure in the next episode if we'll get started on, on building that or not. But we want to get started with that pretty soon as well. Alright. So, I have managed to get this laid out. And I got the plate stamp in place. So, let me see here. That's going to take quite a bit of uh, steel plates. So I better get those going. 150 of them. Let's uh, get over here. All right, production. Oh, we got, uh, I got 76. So actually I only need like 75. So let's do, let's do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, five. All right, that should be enough. So let's, so once I have the steel plates and I have everything for this, I will uh, get back with you because then we'll have our plate factory in place and then we can start trying to get that finished assembled today. I'm, I'm hoping that we can get to that point of having that done and the start of our power facility. All right, so I will get back with you. I think I am just about ready to get this plate stamp completed. So let's uh, see what we got. Oh, I'm lacking one large tube. So we'll uh, get this uh, welded up and then we'll grab that one large tube. And we should have our plate stamp in place. And let's uh, grab it. Uh, inventory. One. Okay. And there we go. We have our plate stamp in place. So now, let's just do this. Get our control set up. We want steel plates. And I would say we want to set this at 200. And let's set that. And that's going to get started. So it should be producing. It is much faster than the uh, assembly bench. And I think for now we should be done with this. Let me see what else. Uh, production. Uh, fabricator, 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 extruder. Oh, I think I'm going to still need it for motors, I think. Yeah, I can't quite get this done, but I, most of the stuff I can start producing over in the 
other area. I think I am going to call this good since we went a little long in the day last time and I think I want to start the next day on being able to do some more searching. So uh, with that we've got we we actually made progress today. We're, we're starting to get the production facility set up. We, we got the cement kiln set up which is nice. That way we can uh, manufacture our base. We got the plate stamp so that pretty much takes most of the uh, slowness out of the assembly bench. So we kind of got a production line all set up for that. We've got our started to get our power grid set up and so we'll finish that next episode. And we also managed to snag a medium cargo container. So I'm pretty happy with the progress that we made today. Uh, okay, well with that fellow space engineers we've completed one week on this uh, frozen rock and we haven't been bothered by anybody so that's a good thing uh, I would sure as hell hate to have to worry about being blasted but you never know you never know all right with that Commander Kingfish is out of here and thanks for watching everyone happy trails